Temperature and time are set according to the recipe on the first kettle. Press start. Add the malt when the alarm goes for 65 degrees Celsius. However, you can add the malt already at 50 degrees. Hereby, you will achieve an inbuilt protein break in order to optimize the mashing efficiency. Attach the pump, including the distribution ring, to the splitter. The distribution ring is placed on top of the mall. Then open the left valve on the flow control as well as the valve leading to the pump. Check that there is liquid in the hose right after the pump. Plug in the pump and turn it on. Now check that wort is flowing out of the distribution ring. You can refill with water into the kettle as it is important to have a water table just above the mop. Now that mashing is in process in the first kettle, please connect the second kettle with a piece of tube as shown. Approximately 45 minutes before the first kettle has finished mashing, set the time and temperature on the second kettle. Important that the pump will not dry out the bottom of the kettle and should have work to work with at all times. If you sense the pump is running dry, you can regulate the valve right after the pump so that the pump cannot press very much work through. In that way you make a slower circulation. When the alarm goes, set the first kettle for 77 degrees Celsius. Again, press start for heating. The alarm should now also have sounded on the second kettle. Add the malt in the second kettle. When the alarm sounds on the first kettle, turn off the pump. Turn off the valve under the pump. Disconnect the pump and let the wort run into a vessel. Now remove the pump and the distribution ring. Now close the left valve on the flow control and open the other two valves on the splitter. Make also sure the ball valve on the second kettle is open. Now restart the pump.
Raise the kettle sieve from the first kettle with the sieve hangers. Now set the temperature on the first kettle according to the recipe. Time to sparge with 78 degrees warm water. When sparging you can have an advantage by using a sparging plate. Sparging plates give a better distribution of the sparging water over the molds and hereby yields more sugars. These sparging plates can be acquired as extra equipment. After sparging the first kettle, work boiling in that kettle will commence. Follow the same procedure for the second kettle as for the first kettle when sparging.